In functional programming, there is a paradigm that you should not modify any existing data. In order to do that, you have to know how to safely copy values in JavaScript. In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to copy values, both deep copying and shallow copying. So if you're in for this, let's dive in. We copy values so that we can modify them without affecting the original values. To really understand copying, you need to know how JavaScript store values. Let's look at primitive data types first, which are number, string, boolean, undefined, null. When you store values in this type of data type, they are tightly coupled with the variable they are assigned to. For example, let number equals 2, let copied number equals number. If we log this copied number, it will give us 2. And if we change the value of the copied variable, let's say copied number equals 5, the value of the original variable, in this case number, will still be the same. And if we console log it, we we'll still get 2. So stored values in primitive data types only exist once. You don't really need to be worried about copying primitive data types in JavaScript. Once you make your copy, it will be a real one. But however, let's look at non-primitive data types like objects and arrays. Technically, arrays are also objects in JavaScript. They behave in the same way. I've done a video on that. Please check it out. So let's look at the three ways to copy objects in JavaScript before we look at the difference between deep copying and shallow copying. The first option is to use the spread operator. Let's create a car object here. Let's call it car details equals. So to simply copy this car object to a new variable, we can use the spread operator like so. Let's call our new variable car one equals. Then use the curly braces, which represent object then pass in these three dots, which is the spread syntax, then pass in your object name, which is car details. So if we console log our new variable, which is car1, we will get the same details. And there you go. Then the second option is to use the object.assign method. So let's create another new variable and call it car2 equals object.assign. Then you pass in an empty object here and the name of the object you want to copy as argument. So let's console log our car2 variable. And there you go. We have the same details, which means we've successfully copied our car details to our new variable, which is car2. So third option is to use json.stringify and json.parse method. Let's create another variable here and call it car3. It calls json.parse then inside the method you call this json.stringify method and then pass in your object name you want to copy so let's console log our car 3 and there you go we have the same details as the original car details so however the first and the second options perform a shallow copying while the last option performs a deep copying so basically a shallow copy means that the values are still connected to the original variable so let's say we want to make a duplicate copy of these car details so that we change the values. We can always return to the original details. Here's what I mean. Let's say const. Let's call it car details duplicate equals car details. So let's say we want to change the name of our car. Let's say car details duplicate dot name equals Benz. Let's console log this out. So now in our duplicate copy, our car name is Benz. Let's also console log the original copy and see if the name remains the same. So you see in our original copy, the name also changed to Benz, even though we have BMW there. So this is what shallow copy means. It will always change the name from the original values, which means we are losing the original data as well. But in deep copying, let's create a brand new variable by using the properties from the original car details variable. Let's say const car details duplicate equals name car details dot name year car details dot year color car details dot color now if we change this car details duplicate to name to tesla it will only affect this and not the original car details so let's console log them out and see 
also dot log i'm just going to concatenate the variable name here so that we can see the difference so i'll say duplicate two card details name plus then i'll put this variable here and then here let's console log the original card details original card details name plus card details so let's see and there you go so now you see the difference so basically an easy way to understand deep copying is to see it like cloning where you know they are both totally the same but yet different in some way so please, if you find value in this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Help the channel grow by considering to subscribe. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.